We're here on the driving range at the Trump International Golf Club Dubai and today's driver that we're going to test out is the Srixon ZX7. For me, Srixon is one of the more underrated brands in the driver market. It's maybe not a, a brand that you would walk into a store seeking out, but what advantage does it have over some of the more well-known brands in this category? And what kind of numbers, I think more importantly, can it produce as well? I'm joined by Billy Mayberg, custom club fitter for eGolf Megastore, PGA professional as well. And Billy, give us your overall take on some of the features of this driver. So how this is different to the previous generation, first and foremost, they have what they call a rebound frame in here. So how this works is they've got a very, very thin titanium face, new type of titanium alloy they use in here. Around that is a stiff structure to back the face up, to give, to give some stability behind the flexible face. Then again, behind the face structure, there's another rebound area. So behind, behind the, the whole face structure, another rebound area. So it kind of has a, a double action flex in here so it, it gives you as much as possible uh, energy transfer into the ball the the other feature they've added on here is they've got two adjustable weights so we've got a zx5 in this range as well it's just got the one fixed weight more aimed at a high launch but our favorite one is the zx7 it's got an eight gram and a four gram weight so that with that you can create a draw or a fade bias uh, depending on what what suits your ball flight yeah it's quite a traditional looking driver when you put it down on the ground it sets up as a, as a classic look to any kind of modern driver, what players have favoured this one? What players on the PGA Tour, the European Tour, have got this in the bag, Billy? Well, in the past, not a lot of the Strixon staff has played the driver, to be honest. They only, we had Shane Lowry in the Z85 last year, but now again, he's changed into the ZX7. We've got Graham McDowell, GMAC. He's gone into the ZX5, as well as Hideki Matsuyama. So uh, a lot more of the players this year, interestingly, going into this driver. So it means it does perform. It, it's really up there with, with all the well-known driver brands out there. Fantastic. Well, let's put it to the test. Let's get it on the Trackman range. That's the most accurate range equipment for launch monitors and, and for measuring your ball flight, your, your data like carry distance and, and club head speed, ball speed, etc. So let's get this driver on the Trackman range and see what numbers it comes up with and I'll give you my overall take on it. Okay, so we've set up the Trackman range, which is the launch monitor that's going to give us carry distance, total yardage, ball speed and the apex height of the drive as well. And look, I mean, for all the look and feel preferences that we all have for drivers, I've, I've currently got a tailor-made sim in my bag, which I really love, numbers make a very persuasive case. And if the Strixon at a slightly more competitive price point can actually produce similar numbers to the Sim, then it's gonna be a pretty good case to, to, to think about putting this one in the bag, or at least consider it for an option when you're trying out a new driver. So I'm gonna give this a rip. We'll try and get some club head speed behind it and we'll see what numbers we can get with it. Well, that was a pretty decent strike. A little bit down the left side take a look okay so carry distance 271 yards total 294 ball speed 161 and the apex height was 33 interestingly that's actually some pretty good yardage for that particular ball speed when i hit the ball well i can get it above 160 and i don't often hit the ball further than 270 yards in the air so Immediately, that's quite impressive. Uh, and there's definite speed with this club. The technology that Billy was talking about is obviously there. Let's try it again. So wind this one up. And that one's pulled left. Not my best, in all honesty. That's one where you rely on a very wide fairway, I think. We've got 273 carry that time. Actually, 306 total, it ran out and 164 one, ball speed, so it actually went further. It wasn't the most accurate drive, but that actually ran out further than 300 yards, which for me, I'm absolutely delighted with that. Let's go with a couple more, try and really rip this one. Let's get some proper club head speed here. And that was the exact opposite. That is basically my problem in a nutshell. One went miles left, the other one's gone right block that one again high ball speed 271 carry 289 total a bit spinnier that one or at least that's the way it felt and that ball speed up by about 168 so not certainly an optimal strike one final one and let's try and get this one out of the middle and produce something that goes down the middle of the fairway this time 
Okay. And you know what? I can't say too much wrong about that one. Just down the left side of the fairway, 169 ball speed. We've got a carry distance of 270, 306 total. Look, the TrackMan range is, is a very accurate launch monitor and I'm really happy with those numbers. The Strixon is, is a classical looking driver. I'm actually surprised at the numbers that I've got there. I was not expecting such good numbers and in all honesty, that gives me food for thought. I might have to get my SIM out and test it alongside this, but the Strixon ZX7 definitely impressed me. It's a very classical looking driver. They packed the face with some new technology and it may be an underrated brand in this market, but it's definitely worth bearing in mind when you're next down at eGolf Megastore looking for a new driver. There's no doubt about that. Keep Strixon at the back of your mind and give it a try. Ah.